All right, it's day three, Wednesday, and uh, it looks like it's going to be cabling and programming. So um, individual build with a, with a single inverter, it's already programmed, it's already on the wall. He's been uh, making his cables, to get everything set. Talked to him this morning a little bit. I mean, it's 7.30, we're already sweating. No, it's about, what, almost 8.30, 9 o'clock. We've been out here working a little bit. Got the new uh, tiny home office in. Well, we're bringing in our uh, new office. As we're growing, we're bringing on more people. We've got to have a front office. We're putting that in so whenever uh, clinics come in, uh, supplies come in, we've got a front desk. So, kind of fun keeping it on the property. So. Yeah, so I'm getting the shirts and stuff are going, not one under the oven All right, I'm in a hundred here. Dual 40, what have we got? Range, oh. Well, we ain't never turning that on. Well, this will be cool. All right, back to work so we can pay for this. Woo -woo. On the double inverter setup, um, we went ahead and pulled the inverters out. Remember I was talking about that um, uh, fiberglass uh, storage area. It's kind of very flimsy, so we're going to shore that back up. So we got some two by fours all lined up and get all that taken care of. We're going to program his double inverter setup. Kind of complex to do that. Better to have that done in the air conditioning than you know doing out there in the hot sun uh, with Wi-Fi and everything else. So I'm projecting tomorrow by the end of day it'll all be wired up, and then we'll determine probably Friday morning cut power finish it up and get him going. So cross our fingers. Hopefully there's uh, no more setbacks. We'll see. Let's see how the day goes. And it says, go ahead and turn on the second one. So I'll turn on the second one and it's gonna show up. It says, go ahead and send the settings. Now watch this. Now they're both green. Oh. Cut that one out. <laughs> So we're shoring up the plywood a little bit. The uh, storage bay in my coach is just a little flimsy there. So we're just adding some more strength to it so it can hold the weight. That's one thing I've noticed. Todd, when he's doing all this, he's very attention to detail. And just even the, the little details down to like the heat shrink we're putting on the cables. It's got his logo on it and uh, you know, just how to position it so it looks the same every time. It's just just a little extra thing he puts in. Make sure it looks really clean when you put it in. And I appreciate it. I think it's close to lunchtime. It is, yeah. We did a. Uh, it's hard work watching y'all do all this stuff. So right. I've got to totally get right. <laughs> So the boards are in, mounted. Uh, both inverters are in and on the mount, but not secured yet. So next is, if that's all secure, we're going to turn our attention back to the battery piece. Once we drop it, the batteries, we can go ahead and leave them in there because you're gonna measure between the batteries and the disconnects up, I mean, uh, the uh, link system up top. The great thing on these batteries, they already have the disconnect, so we don't have to wire that in. That's what he's doing over there. Okay. You literally go from the battery, you figure out your link up into that spot. His mindset was to run it starting from here and back over, but I think just because I've already got the hole drilled over here where I ran the, the solar power cable, earlier in the week. Um, I'm gonna go feed these up that hole and start from that side and run the back. I can see daylight. That's a good thing.
I'm just following what I did last time, coming down around the, this is the gas tank. So there shouldn't be any issues coming along here. It doesn't move and it doesn't get hot. It's my mindset anyway. <laughs> Could be wrong, probably am. <laughs> we'll find out after a while. If it melts, I'll have to replace it and do something different. Get it? Yes, yeah, so we're just tying in wires now, connecting all the hardware together. I think we're looking pretty good as far as time schedule goes, which I'm excited about. I thought we'd be working well in tomorrow, into tomorrow. He says once we get this tied in, it sounds like uh, we'll be ready to cut power and tie into the AC and get things working. So fingers crossed, everything's looking good. We'll have this uh, at least functional by the end of the day. And then tomorrow we can load test the batteries and then I'll work on just cleaning up, you know, making it look a, a little neater than it is right now. We're just getting it in there for right now. But yeah, I'm pumped. I'm pretty excited. We're almost there. All right, it's beginning uh, of day four. It's Thursday and it's uh, uh, we're a little later in the morning. They started early. We're still doing our finishing touches before we cut power. Um, I was hoping that we would have started uh, cutting power a little bit earlier, but they're doing their finish up. It's a little overcast right now, so uh, hopefully it doesn't rain. Uh, we'll find out by the end of the day, but uh, I think both of them, we should connect, uh, disconnect power today. We should reconnect, but barring any issues. So let's see what happens. Okay, batteries go to this side. I just, that's all I was checking. I don't know if the batteries went on this side of the shunt or on this side. So it goes right here. I'm doing it. Yeah. You're doing what? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> but I'm doing it. <laughs> you figured out you got to do the negative first? I just did. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I, didn't I, I just said that. I probably should have done the negative first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But. Uh, hey, while you're dragging that, let's get some sand in there. Some sand in, in there. You want some? Well, I'll go. Wipe it off. <laughs> you got this by the way so far so far all right because now you see now that it's all almost done you know this wire goes into there the other yeah wire i can goes visualize it now and, and that's the thing so i actually just went over and, and uh peyton showed me his setup for this i'm yeah. like all right i got it i just that's I'm, why i'm I try to give you a little bit at a time because i yep. know it's yep. like you know the 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 sponge is shallow. <laughs> it's not going to absorb all of it at once. It's a whole lot in there, yeah. man. And if I can get a lot of that out of the way, then you're oh, I just got to hook here and here. Yep. Well, I've done that 16 times on this build so yep. far, so yep. not a problem. Ratchet to tighten up. I got everything finger tight right now. I'm just going to tighten it up. Uh, I'm going to ask Peyton for help, so I stripped the head off a screw um, on the inverter. There's where it's got some weatherproofing in there. It's got an arm. You just loosen the screw and open it up. You can run the wires in and then close it back down. It's kind of a weather seal, but I stripped that head, so we might have to cut it off. And uh, Todd said Peyton probably could figure that out. So I'm at a kind of a point where we need to do that. So I'm going to go find him real quick, see if he can give me a hand. So in the inverter, you know that the, uh, where you, for, where the, on the DC side, where it's got the little arm, you loosen the screw and you open it up and run the wires in and close the arm back down. You know what I'm talking about? You have the five Ks, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Well, I stripped the head off that screw. Yeah. And you know, maybe you could. You know, I, I never open those because they're they're a pain. So do what? Do you run around them? Push through them. They push through. With the the end already on it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's All what right. I've always done. All right. I Look at you. That's why you're the man. Yeah, I told you they'd go in there. Here we go. Come on, put your auto transformer back there. Yeah. This is coming together. Thank you. Almost ready. We've got a day to police his cables in the right spot, but it's almost ready. Now we're going to go in and tie these two inverters together. I've already programmed them. So he's doing some final touches. Maybe another 30 minutes, so he'll be ready to turn this thing on.
Hey, it's mid morning. Uh, they're killing the systems. Actually, uh, <laughs> one couple decided to go ahead and leave. Got the air conditioner on. Kind of approximated. Got a couple hours before it's gonna die. So went ahead and took off. It's Fourth of July. I was trying to get some stuff done. We're gonna. We're actually on our way home. We're gonna do uh, day on, day off the grid. So we're gonna do we're taking a little longer getting home. So we're gonna do two harvest hosts with a campground in between, just to in case we need the power. There we go. But I'm gonna try uh, try to run as much as I can off the solar All right. uh, for the whole time. The other one doing everything they can. They're washing clothes and everything else because been sweaty and everything else so they're getting all that taken care of um, 4th of July um, this is gonna be really cool we're pyromaniacs we're gonna we bought a lot of fireworks and so we're going I have a, a five or six acres over here totally free of trees can light us some fireworks so they're gonna have a celebration now not everyone can come in for the 4th of July but um, one thing that we uh, will do every single time uh, is do a brisket right I love uh, cooking briskets I think I do a pretty decent one so you know let's just look and find out very grateful for our country I think we have a wonderful country and uh, we're gonna celebrate that and we're gonna do it the old-fashioned way fireworks point everything's hooked up the only thing we're missing um, is we haven't here here that. the um, only thing we're missing at this point is we haven't tied in the solar panels uh, and the, the reason is is we want to drain these batteries completely discharge them and naturally if the solar panels were uh, hooked up at this point it would be charging the batteries as we go along and we don't want that right now so once we discharge the batteries we know everything's looking good as far as that goes uh, the final step will be just to tie in the uh, the uh, solar panels in, in the meantime I'm just cleaning up wires and putting the covers on and just a little thing picking up all the mess around the work site and puttering and just seeing if there's any issues that pop up and, and you know that's it oh. Yes, yes, and I'm excited for my first boon boon, first boondocking adventure. When we leave here, our very first stop, and I did it on purpose, we're going to stay at a Cracker Barrel just so I can stay overnight and run the AC without the generator and whatnot. This has been a, a very good experience. I'm very happy to, that I came here and did this. Todd is awesome. The whole crew, they've been very, very good to us all. Now we're just oh getting the so we're just getting the fireworks ready for tonight. Hope you guys have a wonderful Fourth of July this year and every year. I hope that voiceover not my face. That's awesome. Yeah. Todd did a great like, job. Got to one it up next year. Yeah, every year. Got the lights flowing. Job. Oh. Oh, oh sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not the children. <laughs> <laughs> Todd, go get them. <laughs>